Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Kimbo here and it's time for an epic Bakugan Evolutions unboxing, dude. So we've got this. It is a Battle Strike pack featuring Pyrus Neo Hydrus and Chaos Baba Drill, man. Yeah, Wave 4 stuff with this. It's wild. So they released Wave 4 in some place, at least in like some areas in Canada and Thanks so much to Harbor Run for actually like finding this and uh, letting your boy know and sending it over. For sure, wouldn't have found this in the states. That's for damn sure. Um, yeah, but just awesome that we got a new mold for Hydrus. It's it's great. I'm glad that like all the awesome Brawlers Bakugan got new molds with this, and then hopefully seeing them expand on them even more uh, with Legends. Like, there's so much potential with Legends, man. I hope we see some older molds, like some original Bakugan, like. I'd love to see, like, even a Pyrus Webum or an Arliss Webum, like, for real. Like, they're going back and doing all their molds. You might as well go back and even do some, like, Battle Planet molds because some of those Battle Planet designs were dope, dude. Like, Truncania is super slept on. Like, it's designed so sick. It just didn't have the craziest stats. It wasn't too easy to use. It bums me out, man. But, yeah, they could do it for some other Bakugan. They could easily go back to uh, even some Season 1 Bakugan we didn't see certain molds for, or certain factions in molds because they were at the very end, and, like, upgrade them. It would be amazing to see that. But, anyways, man, getting into this pack, there's a lot with it, always is with these Battle Strike packs. But not only does it feature those two, it also features uh, Pyrus Nano Sawblade, uh, Arliss Nano Siphon. It also features... Uh, Darkest Pegatrix and Chaos Core Wrath, man. So Wrath, your boy Wrath himself, or Rab himself. Anybody's a fan of Jackass, <laughs> get the reference. But uh, yeah, seeing him in Chaos in the Core version without like the Platinum version or anything. But yeah, dude, overall this pack is stacked for sure. And once again, big time thank you to Haru Ren for just picking it up. You already know, link to his channel won't be in the description of this. But uh, yeah, dude, we gotta check out the back. Uh, got Darkest Pegatrix, Chaos Wrath, Pyrus Platinum Neo Hydrus, Chaos Baba Drill, and Pyrus, uh, Pyrus Nano Sawblade, and Arliss Nano Siphon. But, yeah, all the cards, cores, car you know, character cards, gate cards, all that good stuff. Then you got the Fan Hub on the App Store, Google Play. But, uh, yeah, dude, so without further ado, let's get into it. I got all that freaking tape off off screen, so this shouldn't take too long. Bop. Got one last one in the way. Nope, not this time, sir. If I have to reptile you, I will reptar. Reptar. Okay. I didn't have to do that bad. <laughs> okay, boom. Boom. The inside design of the, the cardboard, like that art right there is really, really dope. I always enjoyed that. I enjoyed that big time with evolution. Just that art. It's just crazy to think we're going on to uh, the fifth season of Bakugan. Making history, y'all. Fifth season, like, there is five total, but between two different companies, you know, of course, being Spin Master and uh, Sack of Toys in the past, but, like, not with one single, uh, you know, brand. But, yeah, man, getting some Baku history with this. Now, if only we got the freaking cards, man, that would be amazing. But, uh, yeah. So, anyways, so into the cards, get those over there. And then now we got to get into the gate cards. So we got Drago right there. Big time boost for Pyrus. Pretty decent for uh, Chaos. Uh, some for Darkest. A little bit for Arliss. Not very good for Aquas. And nada for Ventus. But yeah. Uh, fist bonus. You already know. And then uh, <laughs> Falcron Ponch. Oh, man. But um, big time boost for Ventus. Uh, good amount for Pyrus. A little bit for Chaos and Darkest. Tiny bit for Aquas, and then not much for Arliss. Shield bonus. So if your Bakugan gets a bonus, like, you know, uh, if it lands on the shield, then it'll get that bonus if it lands on the gate card. Yeah, you know. But then we got Fennec on this one. Major boost for Chaos, like 800. Holy crap. And then uh, some for Ventus and Pyrus. A little bit for Arliss. Uh, not much for Darkus, And then Nada for Aquas. And then the Helix bonus right there. All right. So now we got to get into the cores. Uh, plus 150, plus one regular fist. Very nice. Uh, minus 200 shield. All right, good for uh, trap core. Plus 150, plus two. Nice regular fist. Plus 200. Decent shield. Uh, the 400 being the best one, but, like, yeah, it's it's all right. Plus 300. Pretty good one. The best one for Arliss because we need to see Arliss get freaking plus 400 shield bonuses. I'm still baffled that we haven't seen that. But then minus 200, minus two. Really nice trap core right there for the Helix, uh, reducing some B power as well as some damage. All right, now to get into all of the guns, man. Let's see. Bop. Mm -mm. And bop. 
should be able to get them out of there now. Ah, oh, the wing came off. It's all good. It ain't it ain't broken. Let's think about the nano gun. Do do. All right, saw blade. If you wanna if you wanna get out of there, main. Okay, cool. And then we got bomb drill. There's just so much with these, man. Y'all already know. They load these things up with a bunch of Bakugan, Geogon, Nano Gun, all that good stuff. Bop. Ow. And then. Hydrus, you're free. Your boy Wrath himself. And then, lastly, uh, Pag of Tricks. If I can get it. If I can get her out of there. Bop. All right, and no. Oh, you're, you're stuck. Okay. Well, that plastic strip right there. Yeet that, and then get that from underneath your wing, whichever way it is. There we go. Wow, that was weird. Okay. So, I guess first of all, we'll get into siphon, Arliss Nano Siphon. Just gotta do some Baku surgery. All good, man. Or, nope. Now this one's going off. But yeah, it's definitely got the Wormquake kind of design with it. Um, yeah, but having all of that clear plastic looking really dope, the gold as well. I've always seen Siphon before, but seeing it in our list, it looks really dope. Got a little bit of the uh gold right there, like the orange right there for the mouth, and really simple to close it up. So, boom, 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 and there you go. So, our list nano siphon in the closed ball form looking really dope, you know, golden clear, the typical uh nano gun colors for our list. And now we got to get into saw blade, man. So you know, that kind of like swordfish design with it. Uh, having this big old sword sticking out. Neon orange plastic. Digging that for sure. Looking really, really dope. And uh, yeah. Overall has a pretty simple design. Because all you do is just fold that in. And then fold that up. And there you go. Or nope. The tail part as well. There you go. Fold that in as well. And then there it is. Pyrus uh, Nano Saw Blade in the closed ball form. Got the Pyrus Faction symbol right there. With that orange. And yeah. Overall, digging the neon orange they use for it. And all these freaking plastic strips. Holy crap. All right, so next up, I guess we'll get into... Uh, why not? We'll get into Pagatrix. So we've got uh, Darkest Pagatrix here. Armored Alliance uh, mold, of course. All of the rosy pink that they use for this with the paint looks dope. As well as the silver uh, on the shoulder blades. Then you got a little bit of like the sky blue uh, for the horn. As well as the Darkest Faction symbol. A little bit of the Darkest Elemental symbol right there on the ribs for her. On the wings, having more of that, uh, you know, the rosy pink, like the rosy purple with it. Silver on the tail, uh, and just overall looking really, really dope, dude. Silver on the back as well. So, let's see the way to close her up. Boom. Put those all down, and then uh, clip those two parts together. Oh man, the hoof, dang it. That's the only bad thing, if the hoof's st <laughs> sticking out, it'll get stuck. But let's try this again. Boom. There we go. And then the head. So there's Darkest Pack of Tricks in the closed ball form. Looking really, really dope. Like I said, the paint really making it pop with the silver and the pink. Uh, looking really, really dope. But yeah. Next up, uh, I guess we'll get into Baba Drill. Why not? So Gorilla Monkey Boy up in here. I uh, got that transparent kind of turquoise plastic looking really dope. All the white with it. Chaos Elemental symbol on the ribs. And then more of it on, uh, you know the head the turquoise plastic and then the silver for the face itself so let's see where is that uh b power at mm -mm 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 -mm. it's hiding it is hiding the question is where is it hiding did it do what the where is it ah Son of a bitch! Oh, it's behind the neck. Okay. Um, 600. So 600. I don't know why they, they should have definitely used uh, black for that because it's hard to kind of see it. But 600. Um, so maybe it'll be like one, two cost, something like that. But, uh, yeah. So, let's see. Back. Head in. And then, uh, just this top part for the clamp. If I can, if I can get it anyways. I might have done it out of order. Do, 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 do. Uh, yeah, I did out of order. Okay. Let's try this again. Um, that first. Then that. And then the head. 
There we go. So there's Baba Drill in the closed ball form. Looking really, really dope, dude. Definitely digging the design of this bad boy. Uh, you know, saw, of course, with Geogon rising, but I love how it's got, like, the little cylindrical kind of shape with it. Uh, Chaos Faction symbol right there. And, yeah, has a lot of action when it's opening, you know, because the arm's swinging forward and such. Like, let's go, man. Double fist. Bam. All right. So, uh, next up, we'll get into Wrath because we saw his mold first, but, of course, being, like, kind of an anime, Bakugan, pretty much. Yeah. So, Chaos Wrath up in here, man. Got the red for the eyes. Um, you got the silver. Um, you know, for the whiskers, all the white, like the pearlescent white plastic they use for it. Silver on the arm, silver on the back, a little bit of the Chaos uh, Elemental symbol back there in the wings. Chaos Faction symbol right there. And, yeah, overall looking really, really dope. So, let's see, where's his B-Power? Let's say 200. Yeah, I definitely should have used uh, black for this. This one's definitely tough to see. So, I think maybe that says uh, 200. And if so, it's definitely low for it. I mean, Wrath, they definitely focus more on, like, the damage with it. It'll be nice if this one had some pretty good B-Power with it. But, yeah, overall, it does look really, really dope. So, yeah, can never go wrong having another mold of Wrath because it's really, really sick. And they put out the antagonist, Bakugan. It's dope. I still wish that we got a damn Tico <laughs> to this day. I really wish that we got a ball form for Tico. If they do in the future, I'd flip out. But, yeah. Anyways, Chaos, uh, Wrath, and the ball form here looking really, really dope, man. Of course, all the white, and then the silver and the turquoise. And now, lastly, we got to get into uh, the newest mold, that being a Neo Hydrus, man. Pyrus Neo Hydrus up in here. All of the metal they use for the center part. Holy crap, big old chunk of metal. And it's all silver. Surprised they didn't paint it, but it still looks really awesome. All the Pyrus kind of elemental symbol right there. With those flames uh looking really really dope a little bit of the flames on the tail as well the back legs too a little bit of like dark red like blood red they use for that um then you got like the flames right there for the mane on the shoulder blades it's really really awesome then the horns right there uh with uh the orange so yeah i believe the horn yeah it does go up there it is and just looks so so dope dude so we got to see uh what are the stats for? B power is 600. All right. So, I mean, if it has a shield, it could break 1,000. Um, but, yeah, overall, it does look really, really dope. Hopefully, they have some additional um, effects with them, too, because they all look really, really sick. But, um, yeah, let's see. I'd, I'd love to use them because they all have really awesome designs. We just got to see how their, like, stats are. All right. So, those in, then those, the legs. And then the tail. I think I should have done the tail first. Yeah, I should have, I should have done the tail before the wings. But, you know, just going to be careful. And boom, boom. Uh, yeah, so there is Pyrus Platinum Neo Hydrus in the closed ball form. Looking really, really dope, man. Loving all the red with it. The cherry red they use. The orange, the yellow, really making it pop. And also the silver for the metal. Uh, kind of welcome surprise. I was expecting them to, uh, you know, paint it and such. But it looks really, really dope. But yeah, man, now we got to get into all the cards. So, let's see. For Siphon, you have a Magic Shield plus 300. You have a Magic Shield and also a Fist plus 500. Uh, so, yeah, man. Putting that work in in our list, man, that's for sure. And then we got Blade up in here. So, you know, they said Saw Blade on there, but yeah, B Blade. Uh, Pyrus Nano Blade. Built-in reroll. You have a Flame Fist plus 200. You have uh, two Flame Fists plus 500. And it goes off your entire party of Bakugan. Uh, yeah, kind of like a third deck a little bit, like a special deck, like special slots for them. Um, but you can only use them one time, and you have to choose which one. Like a Flame Fist, if you want to use that one first to get a little bit of B-Power, or you can use, uh, if you have two Flame Fists, you can wait a little bit and get the two Flame Fists and then get the plus 500. It's got a built-in reroll, too, so that's nice. But when you use it, it's gone. But yeah. And then we got Baba Drill. Definitely for the Geo Gun, they just got to put in, like, a copy of three cards. They, they just need to at this point, so... We could actually use them in profiles if they're not going to focus on the TCG anymore. Still wanted to see the secrets of the Geogon and GG sets, even if they're the last ones. Uh, but 605, 3 cost. If it lands on a Helix plus 800, holy crap. So that's putting up to 2,000. Yeah, 2,002, I think. Um, so big time power with it. And it looks really, really dope in Chaos for sure. Um, then we got Pegatrix up in here, 606. Shield and Fist. If it lands on a Fist plus 400 and plus 4, what? 11.50 and... 11.50 and 12. 
or 1113. Big time damage deck deals and also breaking a thousand. Yo, regular fist getting some big time boost with this season. That's for damn sure. Like, look at that. that that's awesome. And then we got Wrath. Yo, 700. Okay, 701. Built in reroll. And then it's got uh, the shield, you know, double shield. And if it lands on it, it gets. Yo, it gets. It adds the core and plus 200. Okay, so shield. Uh, that would put up to 1100. The plus 200 being uh, 1300. And then if you add. Pfft, then if you had a magic shield, 1950. 1950 and 1. So he's going to have some serious power. They actually gave him a big time B power boost, but not much damage. The opposite of what we see, of, like a standard Chaos Wrath. Like usually it goes for the damage. This time it's all B power and no damage. But 1950 it gets up to. That's insane, man. But it only has one damage with it. And you can have all the B power in the world. And you have to still focus on the damage cards. Otherwise, you're not doing any damage when you're making a profile. So yeah, that's the balance with it. And that's one thing I love. Even with the boss down, getting stronger over time slowly. But surely. Um, then Pyrus Platinum Neo Hydras up in here. Helix and Fist. All right, 603. Uh, lands on a Helix plus 300. So it's putting it up to 1500. Yeah, 1500, but zeroing out. Or uh, 12, wait, 1500 and zeroing out. Or uh, 1402. Yeah. So, I mean, regardless, breaking 1000, having that big time power and the same thing. Not having much damage. You got to focus on the damage cards with it. And that's the balance. Bakugan having like high B power and such, keeping that damage low. That's the balance right there. You know, it makes it where you have to focus on the damage cards with the other Bakugan. You know, because otherwise when you're building a deck, you won't be able to do much damage to your opponent. So, yeah. And that's a really, really awesome balance right there. I definitely dig that for sure. And it's artwork looking so dope and virus. Looks like an absolute beast, man. It's got like a meteor shower going on behind it a little bit. Just breaking up uh, all, ton all types of rock and such on the ground. All that liquid hot magma. But, yeah. So now... We gotta get into uh, the opening action for everything. So let's see. Bob a drill first. Three, two, one. Bob, get that opening action. And then we're gonna get into Pegatrix. And oh, okay. You wanna open with that one. And you didn't wanna open with that one either. Let's see. Boom. There we go. Yo, that jump though. That was sick. All right, Wrath. Your boy Wrath himself. If we can get him. Bob. Hey, got it. He kind of like springboarded and ricocheted uh forward but still got it and then boom got hydras up in there all right so let's see hydras can it pick up two cores um it can if they overlap it's got a pretty decent magnet with it so that shows right there it's gonna be putting in that work they're all definitely usable man like every bakugan in this pack for sure it's gotta know how to use them the right way and then Pegatrix, not having the strongest magnet. If they overlap, even then, uh, struggling to get that other one. So it doesn't have the greatest uh, magnet with it. But Wrath. Um, yo, kind of. If you're careful, if you're careful, you might be able to pick up a second one. Like, if I mean, if you're lucky, it's on the edge and you'll probably be able to get it. But in general, not the strongest magnet. So, yeah, the magnet like strength does matter, too, with the... Uh, the Bakugan and Geogon. So let's see. Uh, Baba Drill. Yo, Baba Drill. It's magnet so strong. Even if they're like overlapping or such, it can get them both. Yeah, that's some serious power. So he's got to see more of the uh, Geogon cards. And also, like, just with Diamond Evos, too. I just put in three copies of the Diamond Evo with each of the diamonds. So people aren't having to go and get a bunch of diamonds in order to get a playset to uh, make the profiles. You know, it's about working with what we got. And at least with that, just like print three copies of it. It would make sense. Like with the Geogon and the, the Diamond Evo, so we can actually use them straight out of the gate and not holding off. That's why I've held off with a lot of profiles, if you guys don't know. Because I like with the Diamonds, I wanted to use their Evos and incorporate them. Because that's just like how I like make the profiles and such. Showing off the, the true Diamond Evo with it. But it's tough to do so when you only have one card. <laughs> but yeah. Hashtag we want cards big time. We say it out of love, Spin Master. Don't know if it'll actually be heard, but like we, we say it out of love because we love this game and we love y'all. Um, loving the quality of the Bakugan though, and I'm super excited for Legends. Yeah, y'all already know. Like, don't get that misconstrued just because I talk about the cards a lot. Like, I'm really excited for Legends, like the quality of the Bakugan and everything, and having some stuff to open as well. If you've seen my most recent Baku Bay hunting trip, you should be hyped, man. Yeah, your boys just crank it big time, working a lot, and also YouTubing, and it's a busy time period, but we going, man. You already know. I like to get back to you guys with big time, crazy, insane amounts of content during the holidays. That's how I do, you know. But 
Anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this review on this absolutely epic uh, Bakugan Evolutions Battle Strike Pack featuring Pyrus Platinum Neo Hydrus and Chaos Baba Joe. Of course, including Chaos Core Wrath, Darkest uh, Pegatrix, Pyrus uh, Nano Blade, and then Arliss Nano Siphon. But hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to slice that like button down below. Let me know how I did. If you're new to my channel, definitely be sure to subscribe for some epic content because I upload daily. And if you haven't already, be sure to ring that bell by my channel name to be notified whenever I upload a video. So yeah, guys, till next time, it is your boy Kimbo signing off. See you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Till then, stay awesome. And Bakugan Brawl, I'm about out of here.